All right, Pisces. Let's get a collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, please show me what Pisces needs to hear at this time. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, and Jupiter. Happy birthday to all my, what is it, March 9th? March 9th, babies? Yeah, March 9th. This is going to be a reading for the next 72 hours. So going into the weekend, what messages do we have for Pisces? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for Pisces. So we have the finger warning you of a problem either now or in the future. Damn, the casket. Someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation. Okay, so Spirit may be trying to warn you of a problem either now or in the future. I feel a heavy energy from this read already, but uh, let's keep the faith. We'll see what comes out. Three more cards, please. For Pisces. So you guys have the bowl. Plenty of material things. Um, the carriage, a journey, uh, either physical or mental. Okay, so, and the rat. Someone is working against you or behind your back. Okay. Well, bottom of the deck, honor and respect will come to you with the crown. All right, so let's see. What is this warning, Pisces, of a problem either now or in the future? What is this about for Pisces, please? This could be someone who's working against you or behind your back that you need to uh, show show them the door. All right. Lock that shit shut. All right. We're good. Nail in the coffin here. All right. So someone is working against you or behind your back. Whatever this is, it's a lot. It's been a journey. So this may be something that's been going on for a while. Plenty of material things. Um, We'll have to see what that is. Show me warning Pisces of a problem either now or in the future. Uh, judgment, Scorpio energy, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Well, dang. Let's get one more, please. This may have to do with like an offer. Um, again, something that's been a long time coming. Dedicate, dedication, working on something. This could be a new offer for a home. Some of you guys may be getting... Um, Why is this warning Pisces of a problem? Because this energy looks really good. Judgment can talk about forgiveness or something coming back around, learning some type of karmic lessons. All right. With this Knight of Pentacles, this is like dedication, working hard, putting in the effort, planning, strategizing, um, paying attention to details. And the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands. I don't know. Are you guys receiving like a new job or a proposal here. This could even be a marriage proposal. Oh shit. Okay. Let's keep going. This looks really good, but I don't know. For some reason, spirit's warning you of a problem either now or in the future. Hmm. Some of you guys are going to receive like an offer from the divine or this could be a pay raise, a new job, a promotion, a new home some sense of stability, something that you've been working on and very dedicated towards, working towards. Maybe there's a need to have forgiveness or... All right, show me the casket. Someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation. Wheel of Fortune. Dang, so the wheel and... Um, there's some type of like karmic justice, karmic change here. Uh, the wheel turning in your favor. Good luck and fortune on your side. You know, some type of an ending to a cycle, but I feel like this is also a, a new cycle. Two of pentacles in the reverse. This could be like the end of juggling, the end of going back and forth, or this could even talk about... Um... Let's get two more. Like the end of, you know, 
yeah, the end of going back and forth or juggling the situation or just being off balance. There's some type of, there's something good coming in, Pisces. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energy is out here. Six of Pentacles. See, there's going to be some type of generosity or finances or something coming in. Somebody who may be wanting to support you. Um, yes, support you. Or And I'm not saying like you guys need support, but this is like, this, I'm hearing financial aid. Okay, this could be financial aid. This could be just somebody coming in, being very generous, wanting to give to a situation or aid you in some way or just... This could be time, energy, emotions, whatever, but eight of, eight of Wands, this is positive movement forward. It's very quick. So something here is going to change. There could be a... Nah, no, I don't feel that. Show me, give me one on this Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, to me, this is like you guys are you guys may have been feeling like you've been through a lot, like you've been through battle, but you kept going. You persevered through something here and there may have been some things in your life that were off balance or that you were going back and forth with or that you were. I'm hearing Peter Patter, Peter Patter. Um, but I feel like you guys persevered through this. Something here is nearing completion. That whatever this is that's ending in your life, I feel like this is actually a positive change. If you guys were even um, having a hard time balancing out your finances um, or just juggling priorities within the home, work, love, life, I feel like that's going to be what's ending here. The end of delays, because the wheel is here. There's a positive change, positive movement forward, eight of wands, six of, six of pentacles, some type of generosity here. And then there's like a large offer, maybe even a marriage proposal or a new home, or maybe you guys are going to receive what you need in order to gain some type of stability here. Because I feel like you guys have called judgment on a situation. You guys have been making good judgment uh, decisions. You guys have learned some type of karmic lesson. And again, with the knight of pentacles and... Um, the nine of wands out here, I feel like you guys have per persevered. You guys have worked through some challenges and it may have been a, a long time coming where you felt defeated, but you kept going. Okay, so that's what's going to be ending. So this isn't that bad. So show me plenty. Yeah, and then plenty of material things. You guys are about to be okay. <laughs> You're about to be I. Right. <laughs> page of wands, a message of good news, planning, inspiration, excitement. Nine of wands, page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So there is some type of quick action that you're taking or you're planning to take at least okay this could be even travel like you guys may feel inspired to like suddenly do something damn ten of pentacles y'all something here that someone may be planning to to reach out or take some type of action again marriage family home stability boom an inheritance, a large lump sum of money, something here is coming in for you. Can you guys see that shit? This is getting exciting. Okay. It's like judgment, the ace of pentacles, knight of pentacles, four of wands. Like, look at that. And then you got the wheel of fortune, the two of pentacles in the reverse. So what is changing is, you know, the imbalance in your life. If there was any type of imbalance, that's what's changing. Why? Because you persevered. Things are taking off very quickly for you in a positive direction. There could be some communication coming in about some type of generosity, equal give and take, or some type of money or finances. Um, yeah, that's what's ending in your life with the casket. There's... The Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, it's like you're planning to take action or go towards something that you're very passionate about very quickly or someone else's. Either way, there's going to be plenty of material things. Ten of Pentacles. It's like, damn, damn, Pisces. Okay. Talk to me. Shoot. Show me the bull. King of Wands. What's up with all this fire energy? Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Someone is definitely taking action, feeling inspired. 
this is so this is like also creativity entrepreneur um, go-getter type of energy this is taking action being inspired being enthusiastic being excited about something okay well shoot a journey either physical or mental what's this about some of you guys may have strong fire placements or there could be a fire sign oh my gosh ace of wands a new opportunity, again, like some type of excitement, feeling inspired, a message of good news, taking action, having doing something new, a journey, either physical or mental. Some of you guys may be actually like traveling or feeling inspired to like move or relocate or something like that. Um, this is also like an epiphany, like something. Oh, yeah, yeah overwhelming this is like extreme excitement or like like just knowing it just doing it knowing it taking action doing so confidently journey i gotta make more room for this because this is getting all right tell me more about this carriage a journey either physical or mental for pisces so we've got the chariot. Holy moly balls. Okay, so I don't know if this goes in. We'll leave it sideways. The chariot. So Cancerian energy, positive movement forward, getting in, being like, this is determination, willpower. Like, I know where I'm going. Like, boom. <laughs> Look at you. This is also the chariot, which we have the carriage, which is kind of like a chariot, right? You know, you know if you had some horses or something. This is an action card and like like the action card in the energy oracle. So you do got the horses. So uh oh my gosh. Ah, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. That was my student loan place. I had to answer that. Anyways, uh so I was <laughs> I was talking about I don't know why, but the chariot, you know, or the carriage back in the old days, we just need a couple of horses, right? So talking about action with the chariot, positive movement forward in this ace of wands, here's our horses, right? Action, bam. So I'm gonna read it real quick. Energizing effort and willingness to work. This card tells you that now is the time for more aggressive, for more aggressive uh, forward movement. The galloping horses represent intentional and, um, sorry, I had to make sure you guys could see. Um, Concerted action directed uh, to your goals. This card upright indicates that you are on the right track, but your determined efforts must increase. White horses is the interaction of spirit and thought and the black horse is the outer that still needs to be done. So continue taking action and trust your intuition. In time, you will break through and see the results you've been working so hard to create, Pisces. Um, all right. Beautiful. So we got our horses, all right, Pisces. But put putting those thoughts into action right now is the more is a time for more determined effort towards working towards your goals. And I see you doing that. Like all this is like action, like positive movement forward. I don't feel like this is a love reading at all. The Five of Cups came out. I don't know. I think it was more so reversed, but we'll leave it sideways. So this is you getting over some type of sadness or heartbreak in your life or just letting go of some type of negative emotions that may have been hindering you. Or maybe you're in the process of that and you need to fully um, detach from those things. OK, uh, give me one more on this carriage. Yeah, long journey, either physical or mental. So I feel like you guys are turning either some type of an emotional pain or loss. Ew, could have been through a betrayal. Um, Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck, Nine of Swords in the moon. This is also you guys letting go of like the fear of something bad happening. Letting go of the fear um, that something may not turn out the way that you anticipated or that something, and you do have the rat here, so someone working against you, but we'll check that out in just a minute. Um, but this is you also um, letting go of whatever, you know, emotions. Maybe you guys are in the process of doing that. So maybe you guys are turning your emotional pain into power or turning it into determination or willpower. So whatever 
you know, five of cups, ten of swords to you, okay, whatever made you feel some type of way or caused some type of um, crying, you know, emotional discontentment in your life. I feel like you guys are turning that into action, turning that into power, learning your karmic lessons. That was the first card out in your spread, the judgment card. Okay, beautiful. This is actually like a really cool spread. I like this. Okay, so we got two more. Four of pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. So for some of you guys, you guys may be holding back from starting a new love connection. Or some of you guys could be um, just conserving your time and energy and resources for for um, something, you know. This is like requited love, you know. Something that makes your cup overflow. So some of you guys are conserving your time, your energy, your resources um, or just holding back, pulling back your energy. And that could be what's bringing in this blessing for you. Okay. Is being wise with how you give and receive your time, energy, and emotions. Now show me this rat. Why is the rat all up in Pisces reading today? What's up with this little sucker? Oh, sucker fish. <laughs> the tower. Jeez Louise. Could be a Scorpio. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but or someone with Scorpio placements. So someone may be trying to cause some type of chaos or destruction in your life or mishap, okay? Cause, you know, some type of instability. Nine of Pentacles <laughs> showing itself. But I feel like you guys are like resilient. Nine of Pentacles, enjoying the fruits of your labors, working very hard. Okay. Independent, self-sufficient, good on your mother. Ooh. All right. That could be why you're holding back from starting anything new because i feel like you guys are how do i uh emotionally charged or like um something here is like what do you call it like a battery you know i'm getting like a battery with jumper cables like something like jump started you and this could be this person that like so okay the magician virgo gemini the emperor aries scorpios here so this could be a masculine, a father figure. I feel like you guys are taking charge, taking authority of your own life. Okay, you guys are very powerful at this time. You guys are leaders, bosses, holy shit, and the empress. What in the hell? Emperor to empress and the magician in the tower. Maybe that's why honor and respect will come to you and then a sincere wish will be granted with this needle and thread. If there was somebody here who was working behind your back trying to cause destruction or chaos by doing something, you know, whatever, I feel like you and your counterpart or whoever this is are too fucking powerful. Like, you guys are bosses. You can't take the emperor and the empress off the throne. That's earned. Honor and respect will come to you. That's, like, earned. Okay. Damn. Damn, Daniel. So if someone's trying to work behind you or, or against you or behind your back or whatever, someone may be trying to stop like you and the counterpart coming into union. Give me one more on this rat. This tower may also just be like, um, yeah, the five of swords reversed and the three of swords. E. Five of Swords reversed. Someone doesn't stand a chance, but someone's trying to cause some type of heartbreak, or this could even be a third party. But with the Five of Swords in the reverse, it's like whatever. <laughs> the rabbit was just staring at me, and her little nose is just. <laughs> um. Whatever somebody's trying to do, underhanded behavior, I don't feel like it's it's gonna surpass or succeed. This is like failed attempts, is what I'm getting. Oh, the hair font. Taurus energy. Some of you guys are teachers, leaders. You guys have a traditional union coming in, like emperor to empress, marriage, commitment. 
I have swords in the reverse. Three swords upright. Why is it three swords here? There could have been something that, like, I don't know. Three swords. Queen of Pentacles. Horus, Virgo, Capricorn. Give me one more. And the Queen of Wands reversed. And the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's someone here. Aries, Leo, Sag, or it doesn't have to be that sign, but just the energy. Um, somebody here who's jealous and spiteful. This could be another woman. Someone that's, you know, feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back, heartbroken. Maybe because you're getting some type of commitment. Their attempts at something didn't work. And someone's feeling some type of way about this. Jealous, spiteful, envious. Whatever. Honor and respect will come to you. I feel like you guys are about to be celebrated. There, there is someone in the back background, like a third party, who's Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, trying to do something underhanded to cause some type of drama or conflict. This could be someone who's younger or something. The Lover's card. That's what's changing. The death and the lovers. There's a change to a soulmate connection here. Soulmate union. Whatever. Anyways. The Emperor and the Empress um, are two very powerful. Yeah, with the Magician above that. Someone's, someone's attempts are, okay, they're not going to succeed. Let's get three cards. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. Friendship. A friend needs your help, your kindness, and your excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. So some of you guys may have a friend that may be reaching out, needing, you know, your assistance or guidance or just someone to talk to. Um, challenges. Take time out of problems or conflicts. Approach softly to, to avoid making matters worse. Let's get one more card, though. Um, change. A change of residence, partner, career, job is in the cards. You're restless and in need of a change, and that is exactly what is coming your way. Okay. Let's get one on this tower over here. I, I feel strongly somebody's trying to cause a tower. Like... The Magician, it's like doing work. The High Priestess, Six of Wands. You're going to be, whatever this is, Pisces, I don't, I can't make this shit up. It's like, you're going to be victorious. Use your intuition. Some of you guys, you know, maybe um, doing something online or getting some type of public recognition. Some of you guys could even be spiritualists, herbalists, um, or just have some type of hidden esoteric knowledge, or you guys are very intuitive. Okay, and that's bringing in the success, using your intuition about a situation, maybe even keeping your moves silent at this time as well. Show me this tower, though. Tower and the Magician. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Somebody's trying to cause somebody to walk away and, like, leave somebody out in the cold or somebody feels left out in the cold, abandoned. You know, either way, somebody's trying to, like... But you're going to be successful, like, it's a failed attempt. Someone's doing something out of spite, jealousy, or envy. But again, the Nine of Pentacles and the Temperance, you're very balanced in the freaking star. Look at this. It's like, whatever this is, I feel like you guys are very um, independent, self-sufficient, very balanced, patient, influential. You guys are a star, okay? Earth angel, star seeds, okay? Whatever someone's trying to do, it may have, like... It may have stopped something in the past, or it could have, um, yeah, somebody here feels defeated. Five of swords in the reverse, heartbroken, ten of swords, they feel betrayed. And if there was any type of spell work being done, this queen of wands in the reverse with the magician out here. The tower, this could be like someone, you know, trying to do some type of spell work. And the Ten of Swords can also talk about spell work, but it's being broken. Okay, so some type of spell is broken. I feel like you may be coming into union. Maybe somebody was holding back or trying to keep some type of a blessing from you. Anywho. 
whatever. You've learned some type of karmic lessons here. You guys have a major opportunity coming in for you. This could be a home, something that you've worked very hard for. You've been very dedicated, working on something slow and steady wins the races. What is changing here is uh, that back and forth, that instability type of energy. That's what's changing because you guys are persevering. You guys are pushing forward. And the Eight of Wands, again, acceleration, fast movement forward, equal give and take, some type of a generosity coming towards you maybe you guys have been very generous um as well and maybe those you know those blessings are being returned to you whatever this is i feel like you guys are inspired to go after what it is that you want and something here is very bountiful keep going pisces whatever someone's trying to do they they you know either way you're going to be successful so just don't mind don't mind this little rat okay this little gutter rat. I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped give you guys clarity, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.